the ability to call these agents programmatically. So far, everything we've done, we've had a chat window, right? Where we're talking to the agent and we're able to build out um, solutions that can answer questions. But what if we wanna be able to do this in an automated fashion? Maybe we have a backend process that we would like to you know, take a look at an order coming in and tell us if it's fraud or uh, you know, anytime we'd like AI to give us insights into information, but we don't wanna to have to actually interactively talk with an agent in order to do that. We have the ability to call those agents programmatically. So <clears throat> in this case, um, what I have done is I have built a, uh, an agent that can build product descriptions. So if I come back over to our, um, to my browser and we'll just go ahead and kill this, switch back over, we can have a look at my category description agent. So the prompt on this one's a little different. Um, we're assisting an enterprise application user um, and we'll be passed the following parameters. A product ID, a short description length with depth, colors, power options. You'll use the above parameters and any other resources to put together a longer description for a catalog listing. This is the fun part. Again, we can give it a persona. Your response should have that marketing vibe to it. Um, your response must be a, a minimum of 250 characters long, including spaces and punctuation, not longer than 300. Um, color values must be properly capitalized. For example, rose gold must be converted to capital R, capital G. Be mindful of trademarked words and capitalize them accordingly. Where possible and where there is room to do so, expand any abbreviations. Um, make sure to include the product ID at the end. Check and fix all spelling and grammar. And before spinning back your response, check it one last time to ensure that it does not exceed the characters. Um, the way that generative AI works, it's really just working a word at a time. So having that in there helped it to make sure that it didn't make a change later that pushed it beyond the total. And your response should be in JSON format. So looking like this. Um, and that's it. There are no routines, no data. We've just asked generative AI to generate a, a description for us. Um, what's really cool is that um, I have this agent and then I have a module that wraps that agent within the low code environment. So there is a plugin, there's a step that you can add in a low code routine to ask an AI, to you know, call an AI agent. Um, and so we can choose that category description agent and put the, the pass in the parameters that we need and get the response. Um, you'll notice here that we have our, in, our list of input parameters and our output parameter um, defined here. Um, so we can, now that this is in a routine, we could uh, turn this into an API that can be called by you know, anything, but we can also, um, since a lot of our customers are IBMI customers, we can also call it directly from an RPG program. Um, and we'll even provide you with the RPG code to call this routine. Um, so once we have that, now an RPG program can call an AI agent directly as a program call behind the scenes, not, in the, not on the UI, but you know, just a batch um, RPG program. So to demonstrate this, I actually have a session right here, and I have a green screen program. And this green screen program has just product information on it. You can see here iPhone 13 SE is the short description. We have our dimensions, available colors. You can see capitalization is just wrong all around that. Power options. Um, we have things that are abbreviated, things are misspelled, all kinds of nasty stuff. But I can press this F5 key and it will call that, that category description agent and the AI will take in all this information and generate a catalog description for me. Introducing the iPhone 13 SE, sleek and compact device measures that yada yada. 
available in black, space silver, and rose gold. You can see the capitalization's right. It capitalized MagSafe because that is a copyrighted word. Um, did that correctly. It fixed the spelling errors. All of that stuff. Get yours today. Um, and just to prove that it's not just a uh, you know a pre-built catalog description behind the scenes, I'll press it again, and I will get a slightly different um, a slightly different des description. So the AI is generating the description each time. Um, generative AI gives you know similar results, but they're not always going to be exactly the same. Um, that's the whole nature of generative AI, much like, you know, two different people might give you a slightly different answer to a question. Generative AI is going to give you a slightly different answers when it's asked to do something. So again, integrated AI to generate a catalog description within a green screen RPG application. Um, so as you can imagine, you know, a green screen application while certainly possible, it might not be the best the best use case. However, um, think about things like uh, you know your batch processes happening on your IBMI. You know you think you get in EDI transactions and you want the you want the uh, the AI to analyze them uh, before you actually import them into your system, or you're importing orders from your um, from your uh, from your web store and you want to check them for fraud before you actually send them through uh, you can have the ai take a look at all of that information and you know make a make a recommendation on whether or not this may or may not be fraudulent there's lots of there's lots of ways that um, you could use and create these agents and then programmatically use them um, to make your to make your uh, applications more resilient um, and more efficient